Hi there everyone. I'm so excited today to share a brand new motor with you, the AOS Supernova 2207. This is quite simply the highest performing motor ever made for 5-inch FPV. It's more powerful, more responsive and more efficient than any other 5-inch motor I've ever tested before. In this video, I'm going to take you through the unique design process that led to the creation of this motor. We're going to take a look at the motor on the bench and then I'm going to share with you some totally bonkers thrust test numbers. Let's not waste any more time, let's dive right into it. Before we take a look at the motor on the bench, I want to tell you a little bit about what gives the Supernova 2207 its incredible performance. It's the design process behind this motor that makes it unique. Ordinarily, when a manufacturer designs a new motor, they're going to use their experience and some rules of thumb to come up with a few different design options. They're going to make those, test them, and they're going to pick the best performing one. And that's the motor that they're going to launch, and that's the motor that you're going to buy. For the AOS Supernova 2207, I tested over 20,000 individual designs. And that's what allowed me to iterate to the state that the motor is now and give it the performance that it has. But how is that possible? It doesn't seem possible that I could make and test 20,000 different motors. Well, let me explain. Those of you that follow the channel will know that I have tested dozens of different 5-inch motors and measured their power, efficiency and responsiveness using my thrust test stand. What you won't know is that I've been using all of that data I collected to fine tune a finite element simulation model for a 5 inch drone motor. The purpose of this model is to accurately predict the performance of a particular motor design given the materials used and all the relevant geometric parameters. Once I had a model that could accurately predict motor performance, I took it one step further. I wrote an optimization script to wrap around the model that could try out all sorts of different designs and slowly converge on the optimum. It took a long time because there are a lot of parameters, over 20,000 iterations, but I got there. I found the design with the best combination of performance and efficiency per gram of weight. And that design is the AOS Supernova 2207. Up until now, this was all just theory. I had a design, but I didn't have any motors to test. So I reached out to RCM Power. RC and Power consistently make some of the best performing motors I've ever tested. And their motors are also used by arguably the fastest racing pilot in the world, Min Chin Kim. And I asked them, would you consider making a motor to this design? And initially, they were pretty skeptical. They didn't think the motor would perform particularly well because some of the parameters were very different to motors that they had made before. I had to twist their arm pretty hard, actually, but they did agree to at least make some prototypes of the motor. And they tested those prototypes, and I tested those prototypes, and the rest is history. They're taking this motor into production now, and I want to show you what it looks like on the bench and the performance that it can achieve on the thrust test stand. If you're interested to know where you can buy an AOS Supernova 2207, they're available direct from RC and Power and also in stock at any number of great retailers. Check the links in the video description for more information. All right, let's take a look at this motor on the bench. And it's made by RC and Power, so it's got all of the features you'd expect from an absolutely top of the line motor. It's got a super durable 7075 aluminium Unibel design with a lightweight 7075 aluminium base. The rotor is attached to the stator using this M3 shaft screw, and it's got the highest quality imported Japanese bearings. The motor uses single strand windings to give the best possible performance, and those windings are coated with 260 degrees C rated military grade enamel. So even if you put this motor through incredible abuse, it's almost impossible to smoke it. If I open up the motor now, you can see that the M3 shaft screw is secured in with some Loctite, and inside the motor bell, there's this washer. And if I lift that washer up, you can see that behind it is this little green o-ring and this o-ring protects the top bearing in a crash it kind of cushions the impact if you have a crash down onto the top of the motor and that really helps improve the durability of the top bearing and keep it running smoother for longer the magnets are secured inside the flux ring with adhesive and the magnetic design of the supernova 2207 calls for a much thicker steel flux ring than is traditional on FPV motors. And that thicker steel flux ring, obviously it's improving the magnetic performance of the motor, but it's also contributing to durability. 
Steel is a lot more durable than aluminium, so having a thicker steel flux ring inside the bell really helps the bell resist impacts from the side and avoids the bell denting or the magnets popping out. Um, and I'm really hoping that's going to contribute to the longevity of this motor as well as its performance. The final feature I want to show you is in the stator. You can see here we've got some little air gaps that run down through the stator. And this is just an area where we were able to save a bit of weight. The material here in the base is aluminium, so it doesn't do anything magnetically, and it's not needed for durability because this stator is press fit and glued onto the base. So by removing this little bit of aluminium here, we can just shave a few tenths of a gram, and that helps improve the power to weight ratio for the motor. Now I want to take a moment to preempt a potential scandal, which is that the AOS Supernova 2207 is not a 2207 motor. The stator is not 22 millimeters in diameter and it's not seven millimeters tall. And I'm not gonna publish the exact dimensions of the motor. Needless to say, there's a lot more than just stator diameter and stator height that govern motor performance. But I will say this, it is a 2207 class motor. It weighs the same as a typical 2207 motor, albeit with better performance, and it's designed to spin a five or five and a half inch prop really, really well. Now, if you buy a Supernova 2207, you're gonna be able to get the calipers out and measure all the dimensions of this motor to your heart's content. But I would ask that if you do that, please join me in not publishing that information. Let's try and keep the dimensions of the Supernova 2207 secret for as long as we possibly can. Now we've taken a look at the motor on the bench, it's time for the best bit. Let's take a look at the performance of this motor on the thrust test stand. Let's talk about measured KV. And I measure motor KV by running the motor full throttle without a prop at 10 volts and then dividing the RPM by 10 to give the KV in RPM per volt. The Supernova 1980 KV tests out at exactly 1980 KV because I wanted the rating on this motor to be spot on accurate. Now that we've talked about measured KV, it's time to look at the performance. And I could show you how the performance compares to every other five inch motor that I've tested, but I'm not gonna do that because the graphs would have 50 lines on them and be totally unreadable. What I am gonna show you is how the Supernova 2207 compares to the very best motor that I've ever tested before. That's the RCM Power Wasp Major 2020 KV and how it compares to the average performance of a 2207 motor. So let's start by looking at the maximum thrust. I measure maximum thrust by running the motor full throttle from a 6S pack charged to 24 volts. And I use a five by 4.5 by three V1S prop from HQ. And under those conditions, an average 2207 motor will produce a very respectable 1,680 grams of thrust. The best motor that I've ever tested before, the RCM Power Wasp Major, will produce quite a bit more than that. 7% more at just over 1,800 grams of thrust. The Supernova produces significantly more thrust than any other 2207 motor I've ever tested at 1,980 grams of thrust. That's 11% more than the RCM Power Wasp Major and 18% more than an average 2207. As well as maximum thrust, we also care about efficiency. And normally maximum thrust and efficiency are kind of directly opposed to each other. The changes that you make to the design of a motor to increase its maximum thrust naturally decrease its efficiency. There's not really anything you can normally do about that. The RCM Power Wasp Major is a great example of this. It produces substantially more power than the average 2207, but it's slightly less efficient, 1.1% less efficient than the average 2207. By optimizing the magnetic design of the supernova, it's able to kind of break this rule and it's able to be more efficient, about 4.6% more efficient than an average 2207, despite delivering that 18% more thrust. So we're able to get the best of both worlds by optimizing the magnetic design of the rotor and we're able to achieve more power and more efficiency. Now let's talk about torque. I measure the maximum torque that a motor can produce by using it to accelerate a flywheel up to 20,000 RPM at 50% throttle. And the maximum torque that a motor can produce at 10,000 RPM is a really good predictor of how fast it's gonna be able to accelerate and decelerate a prop, and therefore how responsive it's gonna be, which is critical for keeping the quad stable in the air. An average 2207 motor can produce about 0.23 Newton meters of torque in this test. 
A really well-designed motor like the RCM Power Wasp Major can produce significantly more than that, about 0.25 Newton meters of torque, which is an 8% improvement. The Supernova 2207 produces substantially more torque than any other 2207 motor, and it can produce more than 0.3 Newton meters, which is a 25% improvement on the RCM Power Wasp Major and a 33% improvement on an average 2207. I measure the responsiveness of a motor by looking at how quickly it can change the RPM of my test prop as I step up and down from 10 to 50% throttle. I do that multiple times and I average the RPM per second that I get in acceleration with the RPM per second that I get in deceleration to give an average motor responsiveness number. Now an average 2207 motor will be able to produce about 158,000 RPM per second of combined acceleration and deceleration. A really well-designed motor that produces a lot of torque can do substantially better than that. The RCM Power Wasp Major produces 178,000 RPM per second in combined acceleration and deceleration, which is a 12% improvement over the average. As you'd expect, the Supernova 2207, with its massive reserves of torque, is able to do substantially better again, achieving about 197,000 RPM per second stepping up and back in combined acceleration and deceleration. And that's a 12% improvement over the RCM Power Wasp Major and a 24% improvement over an average 2207. The final parameter to consider is weight. It's no good making a motor that has incredible performance if it's really, really heavy. The Supernova 2207 weighs almost exactly the same as an average 2207 motor. So that means that you're getting all that extra performance at the same weight. So it's not gonna affect how the quad feels. It's just gonna give you more performance and more responsiveness over whatever motor you're running today. I think that covers all the key performance information for the Supernova 2207. If you've got any questions on any of the data that I've shared, my test methodology, or the design philosophy behind this motor, then please leave your comments down below and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about this motor and also about a new technology that I'm working on called AOS XL for vibration isolation, then I actually did a long form interview with Joshua Bardwell on these topics. And I'll put a link to that down in the video description as well. If you're someone who likes those sort of longer form interview type content. If you're interested to try out the Supernova for yourself, then you can get it direct from RCM Power or from one of a number of different retailers. And I'll put links down in the video description to help you find which retailer is gonna be easiest for you. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.